Hey guys, it's Justin and Alicia, and this week we celebrated Isaiah's second birthday party. And for those of you who don't know, Isaiah is our youngest, and he was born with spina bifida. And this month is actually Spina Bifida Awareness Month. So we're gonna have a series coming up about our journey with him, with finding out that he had spina bifida, and I actually had fetal surgery when I was pregnant with him. So a little bit on that, and just how we have gotten to where we are now with him. So be looking for that. It's been a crazy journey, but he's doing so great. You'll get to see why we're so crazy. <laughs> yes, and we also have four-year-old triplets, and for their birthday parties, we've always just done something that they would all enjoy doing. So for their second birthday party, we borrowed a Bouncy house. Bouncy house. And set it up in the yard and they just played the whole time and they loved it. But with Isaiah, he's just now starting to walk and he wouldn't really be ready for that. Wouldn't enjoy it. The kids would love it. But, you know, I wanted to make it about Isaiah. So I was talking to a friend. We were just talking about things that Isaiah liked to do. It was just me. No bugs. No bugs. Just you. Just yeah, it was a bug. Oh, I don't okay. know what kind of bug it was. Okay. I'll get it. You keep going. As long as it's not a spider, we're good. You keep going. I'll get it. We were talking about what Isaiah liked to do, and he loves to do anything the kids are doing. He likes to cook, to play with his... <laughs> you gonna break your chair? I think I might. Ah, uh, to fix that. Okay. All right, continue. That brings us to our theme, which is construction or builder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the only thing we have going in our house. We've got a ton of builder stuff from the triplets. Our triplets are, we've got two boys and a girl, and so we've got lots of builder stuff because Justin... I like to build and I like to construct things and fix things, so naturally they want to do that stuff too. So we have some of that stuff and we thought I say would love that. So we're just going to show you some of the activities that we put together. Super, super cheap activities and the kids love them. All right. What we have here is a hammer. <laughs> and how you use it it's not just any kind of hammer it's a gray hammer which means that the weight is 1.3 ounces less than the black hammer and the red hammers but the blue hammers are close to the same right right <laughs> this is one of the kids favorite activities and we just hammers that the kids had. Um, we had a few more, but we've they're already all over the house. And we got some golf tees. And so with the tea, um, do not destroy okay, this. I'm not. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I didn't even get to do this the other day. I know. The kids loved it, as you can see. Um, we're, we're filming this after the party, but they loved it. It was a favorite. But it's just one of those foam blocks that you put in fake plants. There's a couple bucks at Walmart. I told you don't do it hard. I it's for kids. I, <laughs> I got it. Did you get it there? Okay. Okay. Ooh, I know. One thing I would say, the one that we got, this foam that we got, is really dense, but really flaky. And there was one that was more, it looked almost more like little crystals or you could see the cells in it. Little little cells. I don't know what else to call it, but it, it looked a little different than this, and I would think maybe that would be less dusty, but the party was outside, it was okay. But now, as you can see, our table is covered. I got a bag of super cheap sponges. That's why it tastes bad. They're super cheap. Yeah. And I just cut them up into blocks. It's got a texture, so it's kind of a sensory. Keep going. It's extremely hard to concentrate with you. Come on. A sensory what? What were you saying? <laughs> A good sensory activity because it's blocks. They used them like building blocks, but it's got a rough texture to it. So if you have a kid that, well, it's good for all kids, but um, especially if you have a child that needs some sensory help, this would be great. But they just built, you know, it's blocks. They built with them, but it was fun because it was sponges and it was something different and it was super cheap. I 
cut out a tub of just some wooden blocks that we have. Nothing fancy there. We went super cheap with the activities and just used stuff that we already have for the most part. Are you stuck? I was. It's a tree house. It's a tree house. Show me. Pretty fun game. This was. We got ring toss, and at the Dollar Tree, there were two cones for a dollar, and then the rings were a dollar each, and the rings were actually in the pet section. <laughs> Stop. It's like a halo. All of the things that we bought were things that our kids would enjoy doing again. And we actually bought some more cones so that we could do races. And when you got four kids. Balling on a budget. <laughs> last two activities were all stuff that we already had. That was a Cheerio that he just ate. I don't know how old that was. Was it from the party? It was not. I just did wow. this fresh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Stop eating. You talk about it. I'm going eat. Anyways, Play-Doh. Took some Play-Doh and don't break. Oh, good gracious, Justin. I've always liked these things. He eats raw spaghetti. Leave a comment down below if you eat raw spaghetti. So, Play-Doh, and they got to build, if it'll focus. Would you stop sticking your face in there and making it focus? <laughs> they got to spaghetti. Spaghetti on Play-Doh wow. and Cheerios, wow. and they got to build a tower, and it's good for fine motor skills. At first I had the kids, the triplets, putting the spaghetti in, but they were a little bit heavy-handed and they were shoving it in and breaking it. So if you've got younger ones, you might go ahead and put the spaghetti in it, but... That way they can eat it right off of the Play-Doh. <gasps> This was by far the favorite activity. Mm. The kids, I set this up a couple days before the party and please don't eat that. Oh my goodness, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Stop. I love the rice. Don't Tell eat raw rice. rice. Yes. I'm not going. Okay. Yeah, because that, yeah. that's where the line is. <laughs> okay. I'll do well with lines, okay? <laughs> You know this. <laughs> How do you not crunch it? You didn't cook it. <laughs> it's crunchy. <laughs> Don't put it out. Please stop crunching, for real. You had a broken tooth. You are having to get a root canal next week. That has nothing to do with uncooked pasta. It's not good for your... Ashley, please, if you see this, have a talk to Justin about this. That's our friend who's I'm doing doing it on my, um, I'm chewing it on my good side. Does it make it better for those teeth? For the good teeth? Are they going to break too? So this is one that I set up a few days before the party and the kids were just going crazy. They wanted to play with it and I didn't want rice all over my house, but they put... I'm not trying to. It's just happening. <laughs> it's almost done. It's not! You have two giant pieces of raw pasta in your mouth. You're not almost done. The sound of his teeth breaking. You get another one. You're going to be in trouble. Stop it. Alright. What um, we got? I had picked up these. It was a, actually a pack. It was super cheap, so they're not really good quality. But a whole pack of 10 construction trucks. Put it in that one. That's how you use that, if you were wondering. Thank you for that well, tutorial. Actually, it's on upside down. You can dump it. Because you're supposed to be able to do it this way. And then that way. Anyways, the kids super loved cheap. this. They were super cheap. And in here, I just have a little tin that I had, but if you don't have a tin, you can use a cardboard box or you know, whatever Tupperware dish. But I just put some rice and some pasta, and they loved it. It was so much fun. Yeah, my house was 
He was eating it up. He was. Not gonna... literally like me. But no, not literally. <laughs> We're definitely gonna keep playing with this one because really? they have loved it. Manny to the rescue. This is Manny. That's Manny. I miss you, Manny. Okay. And this is Miles. I miss you, Manny. Other than that, the activities that we did, we just used stuff that we had. The boys have a tool bench, and so we just put all their tools at the tool bench and let the kids play, and the little tax car, they worked on that. The kids' scooters, t-ball, the swings, the slide, you know, just stuff that we already had, and just let the kids run around and play. It was hot. It was in the evening. It wasn't that hot. It's it wasn't, there. it was like 90. Oh. It wasn't over a hundred. <laughs> I don't know. I, Texas in October. That's pretty good. It was hot enough that all the kids' little faces were all red. At least my kids were because <laughs> they have my complexion. And as soon as you get hot, <laughs> I turn red. You so. do. So we hope you got some good ideas from this and hope if you do it that your kids have just as much fun as ours did. Thanks for watching and don't forget to keep your eyes out for our new Spotted Bifida series that we will have going up this month. We'll see y'all next time. Bye.